Hey everyone, it's Mike here from FilterGrid, and today I want to do a quick tutorial on creating light leaks within Photoshop. A lot of people seem to like our light leak effects that we offer on our website, and I wanted to give you guys a more in-depth look into how we do it and how we make them look more realistic. So to get started, you're going to want to open up any image in Photoshop that you would like to use, and um, then we're going to go head over to the adjustment layers, and we're going to start with the curves. This will just add a little bit of light and uh, tone to the image. So once you get the curves properties open, you're going to want to bump up the top bar a little bit right here. Just click and add a point and then dr drag it up a little bit. And you can see it adds some light to the base. Then next, you're going to want to go down right about to this quadrant and add another point and drag it down. And that adds a little bit of mood, like darkness to it. And then finally drag this very bottom pin up about halfway give or take, and that adds a little bit of like a matte effect to the background. So um, I'll click it on and off so you can see it's kind of subtle, but it adds a nice touch. So next, I'm going to adjust the vibrance a little bit to take a little bit of the color away, just because it helps add a slight um, faded look to it. So do a negative 10 on the vibrance and a negative 5 on the saturation, because saturation really affects it. and it's not huge, but it just takes a little bit of the orange out of the sweater and some other colors on the sides. And I mean, that's just optional, but it, I like the effect it adds. All right, so now for the actual light leak, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start by creating a single gradient. And right now it just looks like this, but we have to do a little bit of adjusting. So for the initial gradient, you're going to want to make it completely black. So just drag down the color slider to black and then also make sure you do this too. Click this other one and drag it to black so then it will be a complete black and not a fade into a slight white. So once you do that click OK and then you're going to want to change it or keep it at linear but you're going to want to change it to zero degrees for the angle and make the scale about 90 percent. Next you're going to want to click the gradient again and this time you want to add a point on the top layer. So somewhere right about here click and add a point and that's 100% opacity. Now to get this light leak looking like a legitimate leak we also we have to make it sort of flat right here so it doesn't cover the entire image. So to do that you're going to want to change this pin to zero opacity and then you can see it's almost all over here and there's nothing left over here and then you're going to want to add one more full pin right here and maybe another on this side for a little bit of depth. Then what you're going to want to do is drag this little diamond close to the other pin right here. So it's almost a hard straight edge, but it's got a little bit of a um, little bit of a gradient on the edge. And then same with this side, almost all the way. So it is completely like a band, like a band of light over your image. And then maybe add one more white one right here to really cut it off so it looks pretty good. All right, and that should be good for the light leak. And then you can slide wherever you want. So if you want it on the left side of the image, just slide over here. But I'm going to keep it like right about here. And that looks good for the first gradient layer, which is the initial base of our light leak. All right, so now after that, it gets way easier. So now we create another gradient, uh, set it to negative 90 degrees, or give or take a few degrees. So I'm going to do negative 85. So it'll, or I'll do negative 80. So it has a slight angle. And then scale this down to 60 and then adjust as you need, as you see fit. I'm going to do it right about there. And um, now you're going to want to change the color. Um, you can do any color for a light leak, really, but um, the best colors are in the top right corner. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit to be a slight orange red. And then click OK. Um, what I've found is the best light leaks are often either orange, yellow, red, or um, a light blue but you could try it with any color all right so after you do that also click this white one and make it a similar orange or maybe a little bit lighter tint because it fades into that and that way it won't be white all right so this looks good um i'm going to adjust it a little more to negative 75 and then bring it down a little bit and then click ok after you do that you're going to want to click gradient fill one and then you're going to want to hit the option or the alt key on your computer and hold it and when you do that go in between gradient fill one and two and you'll see this little icon and then you want to click that 
what that does is it it makes the layer above it um, tied or clipped to this layer so it will all be together so when you affect this layer it will also affect this layer and now if we slide this it will go with it and as you can see it changes because of the way I made the gradient so I'm gonna leave it right about there and then the final finishing touch to really get that light leak effect is to go ahead and double click gradient fill one and you'll get the layer style to come up from here you're gonna to want to go to blend mode and click screen now screen gives it that faded effect that sort of shows through to the picture but also adds the light on top and as you can see that's basically a really good light leak and I'm, I think that's what most people are going for so now if you want to do a little adjusting you can move it around I wouldn't suggest lowering the opacity because it just makes it look less realistic if you want it to be a little bit lighter or darker go ahead and double click gradient fill 2 and actually click the icon right there and then you can change the color and change the color so if you want the light leak to look a little bit more faded make it lighter like this and go in from so from right to left the closer you get to white the better it will look and then if you want it to look like really thin if you go down to the dark colors it's harder to see and then for like a really vibrant light leak go all the way in the top right and it'll have a really it'll pack a punch of a color so I'm pretty happy with the way this looks now I'm just gonna add a few more finishing touches to the image and then it should be good. So finally, I'm just gonna adjust the exposure a little bit. So this will help give a little bit of a pop to the light leak. I'm gonna bring this up to a 0 0.3, and the offset, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take to about a negative 0.001, and gamma correction, bring to a 0.95. And then that just, it doesn't do a lot, but it adds a slight increase in the uh, exposure so it helps bring out the light leak and that is it so I'm going to group this together so you guys can see the effect that we made before and after so if you group it together and then click you can see that we had a nice vintage look as well as a light leak and um, so this effect is pretty easy to create as you can see it takes about five minutes in Photoshop and you can do it with any color any size and you can mess around with it and create some really cool stuff so um, before we head out, I'm going to show you guys a few other effects that are part of our premium light leak series, um, which we offer on our website, and I'll include a link in the description for you to go check those out. So basically what this is, is it is a pack of 20 Photoshop actions, and they're all different types of light leaks I made that you guys can apply to your images. So I'm just going to give you a quick preview of each set. Um, so here's a few basic effects, just like a hazy look on the top. And then I created some other simple light leaks. And you can do these in any color. They can be red, orange. Um, I have a few that are really vibrant like this, like purples. Even green looks kind of cool on certain images. Um, so these are a few from the first set. And you can even do like a whole washed effect. That's a really nice tint to your image. And then from the next set, one of my favorites in the whole pack is called Angular. It adds a nice like faded look over the whole image. And then the shine effect almost looks like a sun flare. And uh, finally I'll do I'll show you some of the light strip effects. These are pretty cool. And this one, one of my favorites. So um, check out the description for a link to that and you can buy those if you want to save a little bit of time. They're really easy to use. They come with some help files and if you need any help you can just send an email to support at filtergrade.com and I'll help you out with anything you need. So uh, that's the end of the tutorial. I'll show you guys again one more time. Here's, a, here's the after and here's the before. And uh, basically just you know have some fun and edit your photos. Thanks for watching.